What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you a quick news roundup of some of the things I haven't covered in a lot of videos I posted yesterday including the new Gambit vendor location, a crazy new invisibility bug, Bungie's loot dropping mistakes, a new glimmer buffing consumable item and more. But before we do that people I have an exclusive Gambit emblem to give away to win it. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Winner will be picked from the comment section in a couple of weeks so good luck to everybody who tries to enter it. Also stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about my monthly controller giveaway and if you guys do enjoy this video leaving a thumbs up seriously helps out. Okay so the 2.0 update dropped yesterday and damn the game has changed so much for the better in my opinion. Even PvP as hectic as it is, as many shotguns as there are I still find it much more fun. I made about 6 videos yesterday covering all aspects of these changes so if you do want to check them out you can do by clicking my channel name or icon or you're easy people get doing it! Okay so firstly the thing Bungie say is an issue and that is new Forsaken gear dropping from this week's Mars Flashpoint. Now do you find this an issue? I definitely don't find this an issue. Bungie this is no issue. So if you didn't know you can actually get new Forsaken gear that is armor and weapons by completing this week's flashpoint which is on Mars. At first we all thought it was intentional by Bungie to allow us to have something to do and chase but actually guys Bungie tweeted out that this isn't the case and it's actually an issue they are aware of. Whether it's worth their time fixing it before the Forsaken though I ain't sure but what I would tell you guys is if you haven't done your flashpoints yet get on get to Mars and get doing them just in case they remove it meaning you won't be able to get new Forsaken gear and some of the weapons people look absolutely amazing random rolls too. Now with this armor for some people there is an hilarious bug which makes your guardians armor piece part go invisible upon applying the armor piece. Now this bug didn't work for me but has for many other people and it actually makes the body part of the army is attached to go invisible while in game playing also. Imagine if you had the chest piece for the warlock and it was invisible basically your entire torso would be gone. Crazy imagine seeing that playing against that in pvp a little old head and arms running around no body craziness. Now if you dismantle this gear, don't know why you'd want to, it seems to drop or have a chance in dropping a new item consumable. Now I saw others dismantling them and getting something called the rare make consumable, a glimmer extractor found in the scraps of a look at dismantle. Multi kills have a chance to create a shower of glimmer, effect lasts 4 hours. I was curious and I dismantled my warlock legs and I got the finest matter weave. Boss kills have a chance to drop a masterwork core, effects last until a masterwork core is found. Now I did do a little research and it seemed as though there are multiple consumables available from dismantling gear. The consumable I got though isn't nearly as good as the Rain Maker one but even so I don't recommend you dismantling your gear for this guys. I mean Glimmer is real easy to get and with mass shaded deletion via the Cryptarch I mean you shouldn't need Glimmer but if you do and you are seriously strapped for it and you need Glimmer for some reason you can dismantle it and try and get this actual new consumable but if I were you keep hold of them items guys. Okay so we're going to move on and with the Gambit coming on September 1st for a one day trial there obviously needs to be a vendor right? Well there is and he has his own little corner already set up within the tower so if you spawn into the tower and head right towards Icora and Hawthorne and take a sharp right right here where I do you will see this little dark corner underneath this barrier which you have to slide under. Now although he isn't here right now no doubt going by all the gambit banners and so forth this is where he will be found for sure. Now I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure this dude's name is the drifter. Correct me if I'm wrong there people but I'm pretty sure that is his name. Now I know after the Forsaken we get a new DLC which is based around this dude which is pretty cool and I can't wait to actually see that and learn more about this dude. And I'm actually going to make a video on that later so stay tuned for that. But yeah guys this is where the drifter will be found when the gambit hits. So remember that people. Also guys this room behind him has it always been there? It's got like a little gap like it wants you to go into there but you can't. I actually have no idea. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 Forsaken news, guides, tips, tricks, top 5s, gameplays, absolutely everything be sure to subscribe. Also guys remember I'm giving away an exclusive Gambit emblem. To be in with a chance of winning it drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. And to be in with a chance of win my monthly controller giveaway make sure you're subscribed to the channel drop a like on the video and follow the gleam link at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit guys but on that note i am out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one
knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. We never get it right.